Welcome to Corporal's Corner. Today I want to talk about the Fire Sleeve and Rip Spool by Exotech. So stick around. For those of you that watch my channel, you know that I preach and teach the 10 C's. They're designed to work together as a minimum kit, and they should be the core of every kit. Now, one of those C's is combustion. And for me, my number one go-to combustion source, first time, every time, is going to be a Bic lighter. With a Bic lighter, I'm guaranteed flame. However, there's a couple of drawbacks to using a Bic lighter. The first one is temperature. Under extreme cold conditions, the gas won't flow properly until it's warmed up, and you won't get a flame. The second drawback is water. Now the lighter itself is waterproof, however the gas tube inside is not. If that tube fills full of water, the lighter is rendered useless. Let's go ahead and talk about how we can improve and protect our lighters using the fire sleeve by Exotech. Let's go ahead and talk about some of the key features that make this fire sleeve unique. Starting with the cap. It's made from durable glass filled nylon and has an attachment point. Next we have a soft rubber body for added grip, followed by a bottom attachment point. Let's go ahead and talk about this gas lock. The body features a gas lock, and the sole purpose of that gas lock is once you depress that lever and the gas flows through, and you go ahead and light your lighter, the metal around here tends to heat up in three to five seconds, and sometimes it gets too hot. So the gas lock simply fits over top of this, depresses that lever. Once I strike my BIC or flick my BIC, I can move my thumb away and continue lighting my tinder source until I get it lit. And the last thing I want to talk about is the body housing is ribbed. Once the cap slides over those ribs, it makes it waterproof for 30 minutes to a depth of one meter. And best of all, it floats. Now, if you're not fortunate enough to own one of these fire sleeves, let's talk about recovering a wet lighter. First thing you want to do is go ahead and recover that lighter from that creek, pond, lake, stream, etc. Then look down. You notice the flat bar running across that wheel. That's a child safety lock. Grab something sharp, wedge it underneath, and pop it out. Once that child safety lock is out, remove the water. Step three, dry it out. Once you see spark, you're getting close. Voila.
Let's go ahead and move on to the rip spool field repair kit by Exotac. Now at the very beginning of this video, we talked about the 10 C's. Just looking at this rip spool, I can fulfill three of those C's or redundant C's, meaning more than one. I'm already carrying that gear, so here's a healthy backup. The first C I want to talk about is cordage. I'm carrying a paracord ridge line along with a minimum of a one pound roll of number 36 bank line. So right here at the top of my rip spool, I have approximately 60 foot, a 30 pound test braided line. The next C that I have, or redundancy, is cargo tape. I'm already carrying, at a minimum, a one inch roll of Brillo brand duct tape. Here we have 50 foot of heavy duty cargo tape. And on the inside, I'm already carrying a number 10 or number 14 sail needle or canvas repair needle. We have a number 16 sail needle. Now the rip spool is designed specifically for gear and clothing repair, but it can do a whole lot more. Let's say for example, the cordage. Why not use it for say an L7 trigger system on an automatic fishing pole? Oh, there we go. Let's see what we got. Aha! Fish on, baby. Look at that. Nice. Or better yet, an improvised deadfall trap. And the heavy duty cargo tape on here can be used to help seal wounds by creating an improvised butterfly bandage. And worst case, it can be used as a flame extender. Welcome back. The Fire Sleeve and Rip Spool by Exotac are outstanding. And just my humble opinion, they are the perfect addition to any kit. For now, only the Fire Sleeve is available on my Amazon Influencer page. I'll go ahead and toss a link inside the description box. Please do me that favor, hit that like and subscribe button, then ring that notification bell. Once you ring that bell, please select all notifications. And as always, thank you for your comments, views, and support. Thanks for watching. Get out in the field, have some fun. I'm going to catch you next time.